Good evening, everybody, fellow androids. It's great to see you. My name is Willie Carlisle, and I'm a folk singer from Arkansas. It's great to be here at the Laurel County Public Library here in beautiful London, Kentucky. I'm going to play some folk songs. I'm going to orate and disarmitate and coagulate and bob and discombobulate through some American folk songs and some good old songs about my feelings and a few things that you might never have heard before. If you have any requests, I hope you'll write them on the back of a $20 bill and send them all the way to Hog Eye, Arkansas, where I live, and I'll get back to you in the next six months. <laughs> It's great to be anywhere at all, but of course it's most great to be with you right now. No matter where you are, if you're not wearing any pants, believe me, I don't know. And if you are wearing pants, well, now's a good time to take them off. Uh, I'm going to start off with a song called What the Rocks Don't Know, performed on this here tutor and this uh, set of cow bones right here. Twenty-nine years, I can say I never thought it'd turn out this way. Stumble and a stutter, stutter and a cry. Ain't gonna figure out a reason why. Song hurts my throat and a banjo cuts my side. Hear the road crying out through the railroad ties. Road crying out through the railroad ties. They're singing, well, love, your light don't show. Down by the truck stop, highway glow. Lord knows where I'll go when the road cries out what the rocks don't know road cries out what the rocks don't know Well, all my friends in Arkansas, alone in Maine, six to one, half dozen the same. Back base sailing across the Great Divide, say Mississippi deep, Rappahannock wide. Angels wings on a Walmart sign. Angels wings on a Walmart sign. I'm gonna tell them, well, love, your light don't show. Down by the truck stop, highway glow. Lord knows where I'll go when the road cries out what the rocks don't know. Road cries out what the rocks don't know. Well, Kansas City Rib Shack, baby, you're mine. Give me the pig and the cow and the swine. My weights, my love, my shimmy, my shine. Dang, I found Jesus in a barbecue line. Dang, I found Jesus in a barbecue line. He told me, well, love, your light don't show. Down by the truck stop, highway glow. Lord knows where I'll go when the road cries out what the rocks don't know. Road cries out what the rocks don't know. I'd like to see the world in living color. They tell me one color's just the absence of the other. To get the whole spectrum of horror and elation. Call good time numbers at a Conoco station. Good time numbers at a Conoco station. And tell them, well, love, your light don't show. Down by the truck stop, highway glow. Lord knows where I'll go when the road cries out what the rocks don't know. Road cries out what the rocks don't know. <laughs> Thank you very much, friends. I sure appreciate it. I love playing on those cow bones. It's just one of my favorite things in the world. Uh, they call it the world's oldest instrument, banging on bones. I don't know about that. I think banging on sticks probably came before it, but... <laughs> Who am I to uh, generate Paleolithic timelines? Um, uh, nobody, that's who. Um, it's a great pleasure, like I said, to be anywhere at all, but uh, particularly in, uh, in a uh, dark, cool room. It's where I spent most of the pandemic, in a dark, cool room. The difference was is I wasn't getting to play songs for people. <sighs> so I'll do a brand new one. This is about the uh, perils of loving everybody. I was wandering down the mean streets of Winnipeg up in Manitoba, Canada. And those of you that are familiar with Winnipeg will know that it's kind of like a boring Wichita. Can't really get into a lot of trouble up there. Uh, so I was lost and had a little bit too much to drink and this guy pulled over in his truck and gave me a ride home and I came up with this song. 
in the back of his truck. It's called, uh, Your Heart is a Big Tent. And you gotta let everybody in. It goes like this. This morning a miracle happened as promised The rising of the world's closest star And the almanacs warned us That the fast coming weather might blow us away Like dandelion flowers And if I had a nickel For every time I've taken shelter from the storm Alone and naked in my bed sheets I could pay off all my loans Buy some nicer clothes Find a job that didn't always scare me But I've been trying not to think Before my third cup of coffee How the heart's a big tent You gotta let everybody in Doesn't matter who they are If they do right or where they've been Everybody gets in Still not really sure Somewhere between I'm living And I believe I can fly What's up, I saw the devil In the used bookstore He was ripping up and spitting On Catcher in the Rye And I'm coming to myself Like a man finding religion Am I baptized, drowned, or washed in the blood? If life's an open field I'd like to plant a garden And get ready for the fire and the flood I need a theory of all love Like the hearts of big tents You gotta let everybody in Doesn't matter who they are If they do right or where they've been Everybody gets in Conclusion's not a great one. I'll leave that to the smarter ones. The soul is an idiot and it doesn't care why. Yeah, whatever you do with it, I think the gift's a pretty simple one. Sing until you love yourself and love until you die. Yes, I've seen the trees like pillars full of blood, chlorophyllic laughing, swaying in their glory. I've seen the sparrows in the air, a light on branches there, and there's no way that they're afraid of being 30. But I can't live clean, and I'd better love dirty. Cause the heart's a big tent. Rising of the world's closest star. Thank you very much, friends. <laughs> oh, man. It is hard to love everybody. I've written a lot of angry love songs in my life, and of course, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to play some of them for you later, but. Uh, Boy, when you're happy, you got to write about being happy, and it presents, I tell you, it presents just as many problems as writing about being sad. You don't get to be quite so self-indulgent, and you got to think about how everybody else comes off, you know. In an angry love song, you get to say like, oh, I was done wrong, and I'm going through really hard stuff, and me, 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 and... <laughs> You know, when you're going through, when you're writing, writing love songs, you kind of got to say like, oh, uh, I, I, I like everybody. Um, everybody's sure been good to me. <laughs> uh, doesn't, doesn't always, uh, you know, doesn't always ring as, uh, as um, in the same way as some of the songs about drugs or hard times or so on. 
Well, so I realize that we are all on the internet here. So we're generally, um, and we're performing for the internet. You could be watching this in the year 2030. If so, I hope you're in a nice, cool place uh, and not burning up. <laughs> um, you know, you could be, uh, we could be, you could be listening to this uh, in outer space or something like that. But I do want to say that folk music is so important in terms of time and place, right? Uh, here we are in the year 2021, in the beautiful month of July, uh, here in lovely London, Kentucky. Um, and I'm a folk singer from Arkansas. So I, I want to briefly do an instrumental piece um, uh, that is from Kentucky that I learned in the Arkansas Ozarks. Uh, the Ozark Mountains are kind of sister mountains to the Appalachians out here. Uh, the Ozark Mountains are a little shorter. Uh, they've been around for a few million years longer, um, but generally uh, we borrowed a lot of our population from y'all over here in Kentucky. Um, so I want to play a banjo tune that I learned from an old gentleman named Bill Conley. I knew him as a great Ozark-style fiddle player, but I went to go interview him at his house. He's got to be in his 70s or 80s, lives in a little town called Ozark, Missouri, in the uh, southern Missouri Ozarks. And of course, it turned out that not only was he an excellent Ozark-style fiddle player, but that he had learned uh, banjo music from his eastern Kentucky uh, great-grandparents. Um, who played banjo in a uh, decidedly Kentuckian style. That's one of the most beautiful things I think about folk and vernacular music is it provides these little like star points, these really beautiful pin pricks of color uh, create this marvelous quilt in a uh, sometimes drab existence. So uh, I just want to offer up that little piece of time and place to those of you out there on the internet. Um, this is just a little instrumental piece called Going Across the Sea. Played in the style of Bill Conley. Sweet little piece. Thank you. Oh, I, I, I love uh, going from place to place and learning songs from old timers has been one of the joys of my life. And I always feel honored when an old timer is gracious enough to share a little piece of their history with me because I think it provides us with a meaningful alternative to, uh, you know, uh, sitting at home alone or staring at a screen all day is getting a little piece of, uh, of uh, oral vernacular culture helps you hold on to uh, what matters in this life. Which is to say that wasn't Mozart at all, right? <laughs> this is a little tiny tune, right? But it's a, a little guiding, a little something that can guide you in a confusing world. I want to do another brand new song. Uh, I love clowns. And uh, I don't think people should be afraid of clowns because I think they're uh, hardworking, fun people. Um, I really do. I've gotten lucky in my travels to come across many different people in the entertainment professions. And uh, I've come to the conclusion that clowns know how to party, and that they're a good time. It's magicians that I don't trust. Hand to God, I've never walked into a bar with $20 in my pocket and come out with that same $20 if there were a bunch of uh, magicians present. So I always wanted to write a song about the magicians that I knew because um, it's kind of a fading profession in the era of, uh, era of Instagram and TikTok here. Uh, so this is for everybody that has a job that doesn't count for so much anymore that might be automated or replaced. Uh, it's called uh, Tulsa's Last Magician. Well, Tulsa's 
last magician got his start at four pulled a quarter from his own ear and spun it on the floor said there's no good tricks but old ones and lying ain't that hard so he saved up all his quarters and he bought a deck of cards and he learned ragtime piano though his teacher thought him slow got a black belt in karate from a pawn shop video and he'd practice all his worst mistakes in a dirty bathroom mirror and when his parents drank he learned to disappear his classmates thought him funny and good at sleight of hand but he had this grand finale they just couldn't understand Oh, it's hard to tell the whole truth of a family sawed in half. And that's why Tulsa's last magician left his home so fast. Well, down and out in Reno, broke in Santa Fe, turning tricks on Los Sueños out in California. Well, they pushed him up against a wall, said, buddy, get a grip. So he learned to set himself on fire on a Las Vegas strip. And he wandered down to Tampa, blew everybody's mind. Cause the crowd was cheap and easy there on beer and blowing wine. They said, I wonder where my dollar went, had to flower bloom so fast. He said, I can't reveal my secrets, though they rarely failed to ask. Yeah, the crowd all thought him funny and good at sleight of hand. But he had this grand finale they refused to understand. They demanded explanation when the card pulled was their own. And that's why Tulsa's last magician lost his faith and headed home. Well, he said he'd learn computers like his second foster dad and free range all the rabbits that were living in his hat. His investments all went swimmingly at the cash on hidden strings. His promotions were a certainty he could make the numbers sing. Now time and space is easy for magic to control. Still it was 40 years working for he noticed he was old now his great escape and act is just untying both his shoes and most days he's in his easy chair yelling at the news and the weatherman is funny and talking with his hands but black clouds are coming in and no one understands that somebody's true religion's always someone else's joke and that's why Tulsa's last magician kind of just went up in smoke so friend if you're the kind that thinks no one quite gets quite what you are like you're a cobbler or a mechanic in this age of flying cars if you think that you see right behind what's right before our eyes you might be a small town's last magician in disguise and we need you to be funny and be good at sleight of hand because there's a grand finale we can't hope to understand and there's a one in 52 chance it's all magic and it's true so won't you please help us believe in you? Thank you very much. You're too kind. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, if you're just tuning in, <laughs> my name is Willie Carlisle, and I'm a folk singer from Arkansas. 
I was born and raised in Kansas, uh, moved out to Illinois, spent some years living in Illinois, uh, was still looking for where my home was, pretty much traveling as much as I could. I was hitchhiking and sleeping on couches, and, and uh, early days of internet couch surfing were really good to me. Um, and uh, generally being a ne'er-do-well around the country before I finally tried to get my sh business together and moved out to uh, Arkansas, ostensibly to go to graduate school, uh, in poetry no less. Now, for those of you that think, oh, well, a degree in, graduate degree in poetry is a big deal, let me tell you their admissions criteria. I sent them ten poems, and in return for ten poems, they gave me a job for four years. <laughs> the fact that it was a bad job didn't matter to me at all at 21, 22. As far as I was concerned, I was a college dropout who now was teaching all of a sudden, based on the quality of 10 poems. <laughs> well, I moved to Arkansas and promptly fell in love, uh, started, uh, started uh, learning to call square dances, started to get straight C's in all my classes because I was so busy playing banjo and fiddle and having a great time. <laughs> Uh, but before that, of course, uh, I was traveling around the country. And what follows is one of my, one of my angry traveling songs uh, from when I was in punk bands, um, struggling to become a folk singer um, while uh, still playing electrified instruments and screaming at audience members and banging my, the microphone on my forehead to make a little waffle pattern and stuff like that. Um, well, anyhow, this is one of my hard traveling songs. This is called uh, Cheap Cocaine. About uh, doing too much of a baby powder-like substance um, outside of a punk house somewhere in southern Illinois, pulling out your Nokia flip phone because it's 2009 and calling your mother and telling her you don't want to be a musician anymore. So <laughs> ten years later, it hits a little different. Uh, all right, here we go.
so lonely, but I couldn't tell you. I wouldn't want to tell you why. Thank you. <laughs> It's nice to experience a, a little release. I gotta tell you, it's all pent up in me from COVID. I don't know what it is that you got pent up at home, but uh, whatever it is, uh, I hope that me experiencing a little release up here helps you get it out a little. Cause I was, uh, I was, you know, I know we all had, it was a bad time for everybody. Um, and it may not be over yet, but, uh, I know I was singing at a white wall in a tiny apartment in St. Louis and that that white wall gave me the worst feedback that you can give a singer, which is just blank, dead, dull echo. And every time I sing for uh, inside a beautiful room with anybody in it at all, um, and that's including you imagined virtual people out there, I just start to feel so good. Um, so impossibly good. Um, so thank you very much for being here and being a part of that. Um, you give me a huge gift, and uh, I'm grateful to you. Um, we literally could not live without you. So if there is a musician that you love, it doesn't have to be me. I hope that you'll reach out and tell them if you see them and tell them if you like them, because it really does help us out. Um, I promised I wrote angry love songs. I'm going to sing one now. This is a good profession for uh, not getting over anything ever. <laughs> like I said, I moved to Arkansas and I promptly fell in love with uh, the uh, um, most beautiful hillbilly princess that I'd ever met. Uh, I live with her now, uh, but it took us about 10 years to finally get together. Um, and uh, this is one of the angry songs I wrote uh, for her. <laughs> That probably didn't help us get together much. This is called Singing Knives. To live without love is a knife in every direction When you touched me that night I saw lights and cold steel reflections Tell me what's the point of living and feeling so loveless Nothing helps me hold a job down, darling I think I'm hopeless Cause I worked at the foundry for six months And I dated your friends, they're all dumb punks And the flowers in bloom and your cheap perfume I thought it was too nice to mean much And with Jack or Jim or me or him you used to spike your iced tea I used to show up late in stone Just praying you'd forgive me And I clean up all right It's not like you'd ever notice But nothing helps me hold a job down, darling I think I'm hopeless Cause I don't care to work on a Sunday I drop gravel for miles across some site And don't tell me some loves take a back road to town You know I like to drive all night
boy finding you was like buying a lottery ticket when you said I couldn't hold you, I told you we ought to forget it. Now I don't care to be happy, just don't want to let you down. I swear I don't give a shit, no I spit when I pass your hometown. Cause I don't want your sister's wedding and I'd have shook your father's right hand put a few scented candles and pictures on mantles that don't fix an angry young I don't try, but I still see us naked. And that all was so raw that I thought that we could still make it. Thank you, friends. All feelings I don't have anymore will get to have come back to me almost every night. Um, I'll do another one. This is a brand new one. And uh, I wrote it for a friend of mine who went to his grandmother's house to clean up from a bad habit. And uh, he told me his grandmother didn't ask him any questions, which I thought was just about the nicest thing anybody could ever do to some, for somebody. Uh, Oh, this is for uh, everybody, everybody who loves their their grandmother and all the grandmothers out there. It's called the Dry County Dust. Chickens in the backyard. Reserves and mason jars. Dry county dust has got me feeling kind of low. Cats on the windowsill. I'm feeling shaky still. Mama's in the kitchen singing sweet by and by. She's dancing around the room. She can't quite hold the tune I'd disappoint her But she'll still carry on And thank God forgiveness comes In so many shapes I've been traveling in anger Trying to ditch the shakes If you get high in Texarkana Can you still up in grace, I hear mama in the kitchen singing sweet by and by. A fox got the chickens, y'all. Was too lit, I never heard him squall. There's one golden pullet left, she's the queen of the roost. Sitting on her compost pile, looking at her one good eye. I'm trying to hold her, but she won't be held. She's my softy girl. Too soft in an angry world All oh, fat flesh is slaughtered And brittle wings will break But thank God forgiveness 
Goodness comes in so many shapes. I've been traveling in anger, trying to ditch the shakes. If you go blind in Texarkana, can you still wake up in grace? I hear mom in the kitchen singing sweet by and by. My mother's in the ground all ancient wisdom now hope she's all right with this ugly brown dress we sent the old girl on with guitars and gospel songs but there's things a microphone just can't pick up something like quiet prayer but it comes from everywhere Something like a loan you know you never can pay back But thank God forgiveness comes in so many shapes I've been traveling in anger Trying to ditch the shakes If you die Texarkana, you can still wake up in grace. I hear mom in the kitchen singing sweet by and by. I hear mom in the kitchen singing sweet by and by. Chickens in the backyard, preserves and mason jars. Dark county dust has got me feeling kind of low. Thank you. Well, thank you, friends. That's brand new. Gotten to play it for a couple of live streams, but it's not on any record. If you like any of what you hear, um, as of the time of recording this, you know, my new album, which a lot of these songs are on, is available for pre-order. All you got to do is Google my name and the word pre-order, and it'll come right up for you. Um, I also got a website and all that kind of fancy stuff. So, look, you're on the Internet already. Uh, why not double down a little bit? Uh, you'd sure be welcome to. Got a little mailing list, too, if you like to uh, receive the occasional, uh, I don't know, poem, musing, tour listing, etc. Uh, it's always a delight to keep up with, uh, with people and get to know people. And I'd also love to meet any, anybody at a show anytime. And I, I hope that you'll say that it was indeed the Laurel County Public Library that sent you. Um, I want to do one uh, dedicated to everybody that's had to live between four wheels instead of four walls. Uh, for everybody that's been a part of the recently Instagrammable phenomenon, but forever difficult phenomenon uh, known as the van life. Now, this is called this is called the van life. <laughs> my job making minimum wage I look fairly well twice and act half my age I'm looking for somewhere that can handle the rage of a young man on the run with rarely paid taxes and shitty insurance and a glove box full of summons and warrants I finally tuned to wish things were that weren't you could say I was looking for fun so I bought an old one red Dodge Ram bought two pints of whiskey and a 30 of hams now I'm peeing in bottles and eating from cans but friends you can't call me homeless cuz I live in a van they call it van life, I've been told this, it's a fine life, I've been sold this, but it's a fine line between having to and choosing it, let's roll up, let's blow this, well the 7-Eleven's 
a shirt belly ache, so I subsist upon a mere wake and bake. Talladega to Chicago's lakes, or I'll take your largest queso. And all the girls from Chickamauga to Matt Pass and McCotty speak enviously in my man's rusty body. This old thing might just be a Bugatti, the way I get it from 60 to zero. Yeah, I'm 60 miles apart going on a northern track. I'm burning rubber, no looking back. Pushing that thing like a maniac. I get tipped out like a stripper. And singles and crack. Woo! I wish someone would go ahead and fund Amtrak. Instead, for now, it's the van life. I've been told this. It's a fine life. I've been sold this. It's a fine line between having to and choosing it. Let's roll up. Let's blow. All in all, life's pretty pretty from the Starship Enterprise. Still a guy with a house and a big old lawn thinks his block's too good for me to park on. Bangs on my door with a letter that tells about a thousand ways he can make my life hell. And he's worse than the guy who put a brick through my glass and robbed me blind and siphoned the gas. At least I know that guy needed it bad. Oh, I wish that old boy well. Yeah, in the meantime, a cop is banging on my door telling me I can't park here no more. What do you do, friends? What do you say? You gotta rev up the engine and drive away and chalk it all up to the van life. I've been told this, it's a fine life. I've been sold this, but it's a fine line between having to and choosing it. Let's roll up, bubble, let's blow. If you're one of these dang billionaire gentlemen, and I'm pretty sure that I prefer the van life, I've been told this, it's a fine life, I've been sold this, it's a fine line between having to and choosing it. Friends, I'm a public park patron, and I'm a library sleuth, and I'm a thrift store grifter of western suits, and I'm here ringing out three chords and the truth like a wash rag on the bar. Uh, it's not very often I get to say a line about public libraries inside public libraries. <laughs> it is quite often that I get to sing uh, about bars inside bars, um, so that's, uh, that's not quite as special. Um, I'm going to play a little bit of fiddle now. <clears throat> I wasn't born to play the fiddle. I've never been particularly gifted at it, uh, but I love it, perhaps more than anything else. And uh, I wanted to play, again, time and place in folk music. I passed by so many Baptist churches here in eastern Kentucky, I thought I was in central Arkansas for a second, <laughs> where I came from. So. Uh, I want to play one of my very favorite hymns in the world, and I think this is the hymn I would like to be buried to. So uh, if you're seeing this in like 2090, and uh, don't cryogenically freeze me, uh, bury me to this song right here. Uh, this was written in the 18th century. That's the 1700s in, 
uh, over in the British Isles, you know, uh, in, uh, in Scotland. Um, and uh, it was set to music uh, in the uh, 19th century in Missouri. It's called uh, Prospects, or Why Should We Start in Fear to Die? And I just think it's a lovely tune. <laughs> Why should we start and fear to die? What timorous worms we mortals are! Death is the gate to endless joy, and yet we fear to enter there. The pains, the groans, the dying strife They fright approaching souls away And we shrink back again to life Fond of our prison, fond of our clay My soul would stretch her wings in haste, fly fearless through death's iron gate, nor fear the terrors as she passed. Oh, Jesus can make a dying bell feel soft as downy pill. Thank you very much, friends. Why should we start and fear to die? What timorous worms we mortals are. Death is the gate to endless joy, and yet we fear to enter there. I think of that as so much better than heavy metal music, truly. Everybody's trying to write something that's hardcore. And you just got to look to like <laughs> what's getting sung in the church down close to your house that, uh, you know, you don't go to. Um, if there was anything that was going to make me get religion in this world, it'd be those beautiful old hymns. Because... Uh, They don't just sing those hymns. Where I learned that song in, up in Springdale, Arkansas, they don't just sing them, they sit in a square and kind of holler them at each other in the sacred harp tradition. Um, this really, really bold, brash, difficult to listen to music that doesn't have anything to do with, you know, the quality of the sounds and has everything to do with the quality of the togetherness that we're creating. That's one of my favorite things about folk music, vernacular music, banjo music is that it's always better than it sounds and that the community it creates is always more important than the uh, you know than the uh, virtuosity at hand well, I tried to write a hymn for a friend of mine he was thinking about ending his life and he's all right now but remember when he was going through his hard times I, I said the single dumbest thing you can say to 
somebody that's going through hard times, which is, oh, you'll be all right, man. You know, look on the bright side. That was very foolish, and I didn't help him much at all. So I wanted to write a song that was what I wish I'd said to him. So this is called The Grand Design. for my brother. <coughs> well, I'm starting to be able to smell myself, so I just got a couple more. Um, I don't know if my smell can make it all the way through the series of tubes known as the internet into your nostrils, but I don't care to stick around and find out. Um, <coughs> so um, I'm going to do a silly one and a, uh, and a uh, sad one. And that'll be uh, good enough to close us out. Um, in about a week of this recording day, this song that I'm right about to play for you is going to be a video on the wonderful YouTube channel, Gems on VHS. I hope you'll uh, check that out if you like this version of it and you'd like to see me play it again. That is, you can either hit the rewind button right here from London, Kentucky, or you can hop on over to Gems on VHS and hear a really nice version of it uh, surrounded by friends and family and one of my favorite little honky-tonks in Arkansas. This is called Boy Howdy Hot Dog, and I wrote this for all the good old boys in my life. I've been writing down funny things that good old boys say for years, and 
Uh, by 30 years old, I think I finally got enough to put them all into a song. truck bed, rivers running low this time of year. Ragweeds on the turnpike, bedrooms, mostly Christmas lights. Sorry, friend, I don't lend tools. Boy, I had a hot dog, pretty good life. I got a pretty little house, pretty big wife. Lets me fry her pork chop twice a week. Well, hot plate, hot plate, baby went and made a cake. I never seen a heaven that didn't have a snake. I never seen a heaven that did not have a snake. The blue jay's a mean ass bird, ugliest song you've ever heard. Get off my porch, I'll kick your ass. Everything she does is magic. I watch her catch a lizard. Careful or his tail will come right off. Boy, I had a hot dog, pretty good life. I got a pretty little house, pretty big wife. Fry or catfish twice a week. Well, swamp rose sweat stain, get money, make it rain, cold beer, tin can, Cadillac Mustang. Yeah, swamp rose sweat stain, get money, make it rain, cold beer, tin can, Cadillac Mustang. Doctor asked me where it hurts, born to fish, forced to work. As a forest and a cavalry of bushwhackers Never seen a bald number, bullets wouldn't scatter As she's thick as a forest and a cavalry of bushwhackers Never seen a bald number, bullets wouldn't scatter Goddamn, I'll be going to hell This bar is mostly peanut shells If you drive, we can play pool Hot pocket, sweet potato pie Saturday, Sunday, rolling by Take off your pants, let's watch TV. Boy, I had a hot dog, pretty good life. I got a pretty little house, pretty big wife. Can't recall my ex-wife's name. But the love you lost is right where you left it, or right gone forever. Go ahead, forget it. Yeah, the love you lost is right where you left it, or right gone forever, friend. Crack a beer and forget it. Them coals turning bright red, firewoods in the truck bed, and rivers running low this time of year. Boy, howdy. Hot dog. <laughs> Thank you very much, friends. Um, that song is absolutely full of euphemisms. Nothing like collecting money uh, to... Uh, sing for a public library and sliding in as many dirty things as you can under the radar. <laughs> I think that's got to be put on my bucket list here in life. You can cross that one off. I'm one step closer to dying um, after this one. And boy, I'm, I'm grateful to be a, a, a day closer, uh, full of singing, closer to dying. So thanks for joining me. This will be my last song. Uh, if you'd like to sing along at home, I always try to make everybody sing along with me as often as I can. I like to think that a room full of people singing is one of the uh, last real things here on planet Earth. Uh, one of the last things that can't really be totally commodified, that can't be, you know, put into a package and, uh, and made cheaper in Bangladesh uh, and then uh, sold, uh, sold to us here like a package of Oreos. So uh, if you want to sing this chorus, uh, no matter where you are, no matter when you are, just know that I'd love to have you. And uh, if you scare the cat or the dog or your partner or whatever, then you're doing a good job. <laughs> this is called Angels.
Well, I was born on the wide prairie with its wheat so wild and strong. Well, I left my home when I turned 21. Still don't know if I was wrong. Cause I know a girl down in southern Illinois has me tangled up like cuts to vine. One good look at her shining smile You can tell she'd never be mine And to tell you the truth I miss all the laughs Of loving one another like sociopaths So I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting just to carry me back home I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting For angels to carry me back home And if I was a bird I would tear up my throat Throwing songs across telephone wires If I was a dog I would rattle my chain let my handlers decide how I live, how I die. How I let the wind and bite my own tail and piss on the grass so they'd know who I was. Ask me why I leave a dying trace. It's either for fear or maybe because. Friends, to tell you the truth, Cause I need the master's leash more than it needs me So I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting For angels to carry me back home I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting For angels to carry me back home And I think that I arrived there just once or twice each year when I'm singing to my friends before we leave. I think that I love you and I know that we're dying. Why the fuck should that be what we alternatingly believe? What makes one feel holy makes another feel broke. Like I'm mostly my hat, like I'm mostly my coat. And that lover's will lie is one thing you can trust. Friends, to tell you the truth, I know God's here still in a sweet loving westland over the hills. Where I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for angels to carry me back home. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for angels to carry me back home. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, fellow androids out there in the internet land, my name is Willie Carlisle, and you have been listening to the London, Kentucky, uh, Laurel County Public Library uh, live stream here. I hope you have had a great time. I sure know that I have. If you'd like to look me up, I sure would love to have you uh, just about anywhere, and I hope you'll come introduce yourself. Uh, if I should cast off this tattered coat and go free into the mighty sky, if we should find nothing up there but a vast and blue and echoless ignorance, I swear I'll say nothing but this. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for angels to carry me back home. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs>